Hey, welcome back to the glycogen cycling channel. Today we have a different type of video. I'm going to do a little review on this new kicker bike. Um, honestly, never thought I'd be excited about a stationary bike, but dude, anything to kill the Peloton is welcome. In my opinion, that thing is so overpriced for what it is. Um, and this thing actually looks like a indoor bike for cyclists. Like looks like you can change the handlebars, the, the stem, your saddle, you can change. Like there's a lot more customization than on normal stationary bikes. Um, and this thing also includes, you know, the Wahoo kicker climb. So this thing is going to be legit. And also they have the buttons on the handlebars to uh, use like Zwift power-ups and stuff. Like what? That is so sick. Uh, and then braking apparently actually works. Not sure what you would actually use that for, but you know, it's there. But the main thing I wanted to talk about was this little paragraph right here. It says, out of the box setup is a straightforward process. The Wahoo app provides a step-by-step -step walkthrough and even provides an augmented reality bike fit process. So I haven't used this, but just that line sounds freaking amazing. Like an aug, oh my God. I, I, but then I read, I write, I kept reading and it says, users can take a photo of their bike, enter their own measurements or upload from a professional fit system such as rental or guru. This then outputs measurements to then be manually applied to the bike's five points of adjustment. So when I read that line, that makes me a little bit less excited because that's not really augmented reality. That's just inputting data and getting output. What I'm thinking, and I can't believe this doesn't exist yet, honestly, is have an app where you have your friend or whoever hold your phone up to you while you're on your bike, you know, against a wall or, you know, on a trainer. And actually, it'd probably be better on a trainer because then you could actually see the movement. But have that, you know, camera go and then look at angles of the legs and do something similar to what Retool or Guru does. But instead of having to go into a bike shop and pay them three hundred plus dollars for this, you know, fit that the person who's fitting may not be that great at, have an app that actually just calculates the degrees and measurements that you need, and from there can tell you, okay, you have this amount of degree of movement that you should do to you know, your saddle or here's how long of a stem you need, etc. Obviously that's a little bit, you know, not as easy as just saying that, but I think that would be like extremely cool just to, even if it's not like perfect, even if it's just like for initial setup of your bike, you just got your bike, you want to get it kind of close, but you're not exactly sure. That would be so, so sweet. Let me know in the comments if anyone has, you know, augmented reality app building experience. I have app building experience, but I've never worked with AR yet. And I think that'd be a really cool project to actually get involved with. Um, that being said, I've also never had a bike fit. I kind of just, uh, you know, made my fit based on, you know, how I feel or how I think feels good and kind of just adjusted it over the years. And I think I have it pretty close, but it'd be really cool to have a second opinion at least and, you know, be able to charge 20, 30, 50 bucks instead of 300 to get a bike fit. And then you could do it as many times as you want, you know? So, you know, your bike fit's going to change over the years as you get more flexible and such. So I think that'd be really cool. Um, 
again, shout out to Wahoo for making this thing. I think that's, you know, and it's a good price too, actually. It's uh, 3,500 pounds, which is around 4,500 US dollars. And based on what you get, you get the, you know, the regular trainer piece, which is like a thousand. You get the kicker climb climb piece, which is another thousand. So you're you're already like, you know, maybe get a two thousand dollar road bike, then you have the same thing, and you, and you could ride outside. I don't know, but also this has like, you know, zero maintenance that you have to do to it. So I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. I think they're going to be successful with this. I think uh, the Peloton needs some competitors because that thing is like. I think it's like $10,000. Like it's so overpriced for what you get. And I'm I'm hoping this gets more people into actually cycling, like getting them into cycling. Peloton's more like, oh yeah, I'm going to do a workout, go to my spin class and, you know, do that. Where I feel like Wahoo's more on the, let's be a cyclist and here's a good option for riding inside but this should also get you into actually cycling like outside meet people, you know, all the benefits that get, go along with that. So shout out to Wahoo. Uh, this thing is actually pretty cool. Never thought I would say that about a stationary bike, but I'd definitely use it if I had uh 4,500 bucks laying around. So yeah. Uh, again, let me know in the comments if anyone has AR experience, I would, be interested in talking to you and see if, you know, this is uh, a possible app because to me, it, I think that's possible. You, I mean, they have apps that you can layer on furniture around your room. So I feel like doing a little degree measurements of your legs and stuff would be possible. So let me know in the comments and make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe. And I'll see you for the next one.